Okay. Hi everyone, it's Natalie here. Back with another channel message for you guys. I'm going to be doing this reading for the sign of Sagittarius. If you have Sagittarius anywhere in your guys' chart, this reading may resonate for you. So this will be the Sagittarius bonus reading for August, like I promised you guys. I'm also going to be doing Capricorn after this, all right? So let's clear out the energy. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius right now for the month of August. Okay. All right, let's see. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind that these readings um, are not going to resonate for everyone, so please put yourself in a situation that belongs with you. All right. Also keep in mind that time is fluid. This might not resonate just exactly now, maybe towards the end of August. All right. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius? Okay, so we have this library energy. Take control of your own narrative. Write your own story is what I'm getting for the energy of Sagittarius. I'm getting like someone out here tried to control um, Sagittarius's life, all right? You're getting justice for whatever this is, okay? Uh, yeah, endings are inevitable. It's coming, whether you feel like it's coming or not. So this could have been something that's been going on for years. There's some been some sort of cycle that's, that's been... Um, definitely repeating for you guys Sagittarius and you're just like when is this ever going to end is it ever going to end it will end endings are inevitable everything has to end at one point in time even if it even if it's been going on for years okay so it looks like someone out here has been controlling your guys's energy or the narrative of your life you just want their hand or if someone has their hand over your life or their mouth over your life or like Everything, like someone is literally watching your every move, Sagittarius, or your person's move, or if you're in a relationship, they're watching that. It's like someone is really trying to take control of like the whole way your life is going. Um, I don't know how they're able to do that. This is happening for me, not to me. Yeah, this person doesn't understand something, so they're trying to hold on to it. Okay, they don't understand that things happen to them or they, that things happen for them, not to them. This has a lot to do with self-love out here, okay? We have limitless and self-love, but they were both in the reverse. I feel like someone out here lacks self-love, okay? They don't see their life as limitless. See yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways. The divine can use anything or anyone. See, it's like um, there's a specific person also that someone is hanging on to and they're not realizing that they can get that energy from anyone. So I feel like someone here definitely is reflecting codependency upon you or someone else so this could be you it says let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child i long to take care of myself like never before yeah so not only that someone out here can't tap into their inner self their inner child they don't know how to take care of their inner child okay someone is definitely having some uh trauma issues going on with themselves on the upside the person that's on the more divine side they've already conquered this they know that they're a limitless being they know that they can tap into self-love by simply taking care of their inner child or taking care of the children around them, okay? Because, you know, children are the closest things to God. Someone out here likes to control children or use children or they feel like, I don't know. It's either if they don't have children with someone and trying to control them, this person has had a control over someone's life since they were a child or since this person was a child, okay? So I hope that makes sense for you guys. Let's tap into this energy, please, for Sagittarius using my index. Trying to put limits on someone else's life. Let's see, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Use the energy for Sagittarius for the month of August. Okay, so far we have epiphany and tower moment. We have fake spiritualist. What else, please, for Sagittarius? We have racism and prejudice out here. We also have 11th house relationships, marriage contracts, partners, and equality. So we have the, oh, it's the 7th house, I'm sorry. So this is about a relationship out here. Someone is very... Um, they judge people by how they look. Someone criticizes someone because of their race. Yeah, this is about a relationship. We have a power couple out here. 
someone out here could be pregnant or there's some sort of new creation going on. We have reap what you sow, solid connection, new baby or creation out here, some sort of newfound project between two people because we have a power couple here. So it looks like you guys are in a good relationship, okay? It's written here, guys, as Akashic Records. Yeah, some sort of rebirth or transformation. So either this is an old... Yeah, there's definitely a dark witch behind the scenes here. Um, either this is an old relationship that has been um, reconstructed or is trying to rebirth, change into new, new things. It's like two people are really growing up and starting to realize, you know, the importance of life. Okay, and someone is trying to block it, okay? It's the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse energy. This person is very greedy and money hungry. They try to block things. If they can't have it, no one else can have it type of situation. Also, this person it could be prejudiced or racist. They um, judge you or your partner by the way that you guys look together is what I just heard, okay? This person is going through a tower moment because they reap something that they shouldn't have started. Sagittarius. Queen of Pentacles is up right now. So I feel like this is someone else's energy. This is a wife energy, okay? And they're hermit. Could be a Virgo. Someone is isolated and they're all by themselves and they're focused on their money, okay? Yeah, we have Justice out here and then we have the Queen of Cups. So it's Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So this is what I'm getting so far. Um, there's a specific feminine energy out here that likes to work alone. She's able to work alone. She gets her karmic justice by working alone. Things just seems to work out for her. Um, she doesn't want to be in a group. There's going to be a group out here, um, being dismantled. Okay. So I'm also getting like, if this person is in a relationship with someone, they're really loved. Like whoever they're in a relationship with, it's solid. This person has tons of respect for them. Ace of Cups in the reverse. What else, please, for Sagittarius? Yeah, we have the Four of Wands out here and the Seven of Swords. So this is already letting me know that someone here tried to sabotage someone's marriage or relationship or stability or something like that. Yeah, whatever is going on here, someone is getting karma for it and they just can't stand it. They're like watching someone live this peaceful, balanced life. Sagittarius? Knight of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, they're mad. They're in the energy of like bullying somebody. I feel like they're doing it from afar though. They're not doing it in this person's face or either they're not doing it in their face or someone is just too focused on their, you know, stability out here to even worry about it. Let me get one more piece for Sagittarius. Yeah, the Hierophant in the reverse with the Death card. There's some sort of divorce happening here. Yeah, the Death card in the Tower and the Three of Cups in the reverse. Also, I'm getting like someone, someone had this thing, right, where they would involve other people, involve friends or family members, make this person like... It was almost like this person was being influenced by other people to take care of this Dark Witch also. It was like the friends and family members that, that were getting involved or the people around these people um, were definitely trying to make a mask and take care of them. I don't know how she was able to do that. Well, it says she was a dark witch. She was definitely a fake spiritual. She was definitely manipulating energy. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Yeah, we have this is the way here. So I feel like whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, she's she's the chosen one. She's the person that's like someone wants to be with. She's the person who's the real spiritualist, okay? And we have the Page of Swords in the verse. Someone is watching and spying, talking crap on two people coming together, okay? I don't see the masculine yet, but I'm figuring out these must be his thoughts. Clarify this is the way for Sagittarius. These must be his thoughts. We have the Ace of Wands in the reverse and the Two of Pentacles. And then we have the Page of Swords in the reverse again. Okay, so someone is going to have to drop something. Some sort of mission has failed. There's no start to something. 
because someone wants to go the opposite way, leaving someone else juggling. I feel like someone out here was unsure about something at first. Now they're sure. Clarify justice for Sagittarius. Six of Wands out here. So someone out here is very successful. They're getting the karmic justice. They get like a lot of attention on them. High priestess in their verse. This person being in this energy makes the third party's character be truly exposed. Like their character is truly exposed out here. I'm also getting like someone is publicly being known as a fake spiritualist. I don't know how deep that is going. I feel like things seem to be like going okay in someone's life. Like they, they're over to overcome, they're able to overcome things and be successful. Okay. And that's why this person is going through a tower moment. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius. I just heard a healing energy. Someone is very, a very healing energy. It's like they're a healer. We have the uh, Nine of Pentacles in the verse. So someone out here is, uh, they have lack of self-love. Three of Swords in their verse, yeah. I'm also getting like a lot of projection. A lot of projection is being sent your way, but it's not hitting you. This Nine of Pentacles in reverse is being compared to the Queen of Cups upright. Someone has a lack of self-love and someone else has a lot of self-love. They're very emotionally mature. Wow. Okay. We have the Five of Swords out here with the Eight of Cups out here. So someone else out here was, they're being walked away from. Yeah. I feel like if there's a mother figure or some sort of family figure, could literally be anyone um, out here that had control over someone since they were a child. Now they're realizing they don't have that control anymore. I'm seeing Virgo. Clarify the Ace of Cups in the reverse. For Sagittarius. Ace of Swords in the reverse, a false life, a false love, a lack of self-love. Like a, I'm getting like a false life though, a, a, a false sense of, here's the thing. I feel like this person likes to walk around like they love themselves, but that's not exactly the truth out here. That's a lie. Someone else is, someone is very unhappy. They lack self-love. I'm also getting like someone's love was a lie or someone rejected an offer due to a lie. Clarify the Ace of Swords in the reverse. That could have happened. The Hermit. Yes, yeah, someone looked deep within and realized that something out here was a lie. You are the way in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like also someone like here tried to attack you or something. Okay, so this is that dark witch energy out here too. She's going deep within about something. Oh, wow. For once, someone else, someone else here is going deep within about something. Going deep within and figuring out they're a lie. Yeah, oh, yeah, page of swords in the verse. They're really immature too. They're comparing themselves to you, Sagittarius. I really see that. Clarify the four of wands out here, please, for Sagittarius. I feel like this has all to do with like a specific counterpart that you have. Four of wands for Sagittarius. Yeah, we have the lovers out here. There, it's a true connection out here, soulmates out here. Eight of wands in the verse. So everything backfired, whatever magic or... I'm getting like stealing energy or word magic or something like that. It's, it's exposing someone. Yeah, the three of pentacles. Someone would rather work with their partner. It's upright. So it's an actual good collaboration. So it's like you, you detached from working with people. And that's exactly what's bringing in people to work with you, Sagittarius. And meanwhile, there's someone out here in the background that doesn't think that you deserve something because they have some sort of prejudice or they feel like you're a fake spiritualist or they're the fake spiritualist trying to um, infiltrate a solid connection. Clarify the Seven of Swords, Sagittarius, the Death card. 
Scorpio energy, a transformation out here. Someone is sneaking away. Why is the death card here for the Seven of Swords for Sagittarius? Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone here had nothing to offer. Five of Wands. There's a lot of fighting and altercations going on about some sort of money that someone here can't offer. Oh, someone here isn't offering them something. So someone is sneaking away and not offering someone something. They're putting an end to that. Yeah, they're figuring out exactly who they want to work with out here. And it's causing people to, like, have trouble. Like, it's, it's causing a lot of outer conflict is basically what I want to say out here. Um, yeah. So it's not that this person has nothing to offer. They're just offering it to you. They're, off, they're not offering it to someone else anymore. There's a there's an ending to that. There's a death to that. Clarify the Knight of Swords in the reverse. For Sagittarius. Yeah, the Eight of Swords out here. Now someone else is caught up in their lies or, or their gossip or their bullying. Yeah, Four of Swords in reverse. Definitely mental issues going on with this person, Sagittarius. I don't know who this is. It could definitely be a third party or your person. Yeah, someone here needs to give up the magic, the manipulation out here because they're looking crazy out here. Yeah, Page of Swords in reverse behind that with the Fool. It's like it's exposing their character. Their character is making them look like they have mental issues. They're stuck. They're afraid. They're saying things out of fear now. Eight of Swords for Sagittarius. Wheel of Fortune in the verse is because they're getting karma and they're stuck in this. And I feel like this all has to do with like how they speak too. Like this person just speaks uh, ill will of others, especially when they see successful people. It's like they try to like throw like word magic over their life, speak from afar, right? And they're getting a lot of karma for this and either they could be like experiencing jail or they're just stuck. They cannot move forward. Things are just not turning in their favor and they're being seen, seen as fake. Yeah, okay. Clarify the hierophant in the reverse. There's some sort of divorce going on out here or um, a lack of following the rules. Non-committal type of energy. Clarify the hierophant in the reverse for Sagittarius for the month of August. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. The Empress in the verse. Wow. Hold on. Let me get one more. Yeah, it's a karmic feminine out here. Sagittarius. Definitely. That doesn't want to invest in herself. She doesn't want to invest in herself or she's realizing that like who she is and who she's not. Yeah, Five of Wands out here in the Page of Cups in the verse. Sympathy. Nothing but sympathy. Just uh, sympathy spells, things like that such. Just... She's not going to get whatever she thinks she's going to get out here. I'm also getting like, um, it's making her kind of go, someone is going crazy out here that, that they can't split two people up and two people are splitting up in a way. Like, I feel like there's some sort of divorce going on or it's like some sort of like, um, this could definitely be like a mother type energy that's very immature, uh, plays a sympathy role. Okay. have lack of self-love this the thing that i've been talking about since the beginning of the reading all right let me see let me get three cards for sagittarius in this reading for the month of august we have move out here so two people are definitely coming together two people are definitely moving in together or just you move someone it's divine Divinely guided. We also have feeling alone. And share the love. Yeah, it's like someone is realizing that there's, yeah, release out here. Someone is releasing someone for someone else. And this other person is definitely feeling alone out here. Like they definitely feel ignored. It's basically what I'm getting for this reading, Sagittarius. Okay, guys, this is your August reading, August bonus reading. I hope this resonated for you guys. 
If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. See you next time. Bye.